بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وصلاۃ وسلام علیہ رسول اللہ کریم ہوا یو اسٹوڈنٹس دس از عبد الحادیا یور فزکس ٹیچر فرام آل ایون ٹرانس اسکول ہوپ یو آر آل فائن ود گڈ ہیلتھ اینڈ بیسٹ لیول آف ایمان سو الحمد للہ الحمد للہ فرام ٹوڈے آن ورڈس وی آر اسٹارٹنگ اور آن لائن کلاسز آئی ہوپ ایوری تھنگ گوز فائن اینڈ آئی ہوپ دیٹ اللہ اسپان تعالیٰ ول ہیلپ اس ٹو رن دس آن لائن کلاسز اسموتھلی ان شاء اللہ so uh, regarding today's class uh, today inshallah we'll see a little bit about astronomy which is the chapter 26 in your textbook in your physics textbook okay it's a quite important chapter uh, lastly we were looking into uh, the previous chapter which is uh, radioactivity so i hope uh, that uh, you are uh, quite good in that uh, lesson you have understood the concepts inshallah uh, inshallah i think that i believe that when school reopens inshallah we'll uh, uh, work all those problems on the board because i believe that the face to face interaction and uh, doubt clearance will be much effective rather than you know doing it everything online okay so the, that's why i skipped all those uh, uh, problem uh, problems related to uh, radioactivity so that we do it in the class with the board inshallah and uh, from today onwards we will learn uh, astronomy this chapter is quite easy you might be knowing a few concepts already so we'll just go into the depth inshallah so let's move ahead so i have uh, a slide show in front of me i'm just going to run the slide show and uh, going to explain uh, the concepts with much, much detail inshallah okay see uh, this is uh, how we going to do every day you know online class that is i'm going to show you a ppt i'm going to run through it and uh, after that i am going to uh, give you uh, some uh, kind of question you have to reply that question just write up in uh, the google classroom okay so i think you will learn it it's quite easy if you have any doubts you just uh, text me i'll just inform you I'll uh, try to help you out inshallah how to fill up those uh, questions and all okay so let's go ahead so this is chapter uh, 26 okay you can take your textbook if you like okay but most of the time you just have to look at the slide show okay whether it's your mobile phone or laptop or whatsoever okay right so these are the learning objectives which are there in your textbook okay so Uh, i'm going to sp- skip it for now we will learn in the last in the final uh, ending inshallah okay so one thing which what we are going to learn in this uh, chapter is more about this gravitational force okay uh, otherwise known as the gravity okay most of it will be learning inshallah uh, so <coughs> we know that uh, we live on earth and uh, earth is a part of the solar system okay the sun is the star around which you know the eight planets or nine planets or whatever it is they uh, revolve around it okay so we have lots of uh, uh, other heavenly objects such as the other planets the asteroids the comets and other things alhamdulillah so this is the Uh, general theory regarding the solar system the sun being the you know uh, the center of the solar system okay so uh, now a question arises how are these planets or all of these planets how they are uh, you know connected to this sun that is how they are always uh, stable they don't they don't move out, move out from their orbits okay now that's the question and uh, this is what we are going to answer today okay so just look at this uh, example this illustration so see this this see this is a boy he's going to he's uh, uh he's pulling the string there is a ball connected to a string okay so he has to if he has to swing this if he has to swing swing this ball this way then he has to exert a pressure that is he has to exert some force on the string okay 
so uh, the same time he has to you know also spin so he has to exert a force and he has to spin okay and uh, just look at this diagram if the string for example if the string breaks the ball will move away it will not uh, swing along with this boy correct okay so uh, what this diagram tells us is that the boy is exerting a kind, some kind of force some kind of uh, pulling force on this uh, object through the string and he is spinning around okay so so there is there is some kind of force acting here on the ball that is what it is making the ball to swing right okay so this force you know the same kind of force is also there among the heavenly bodies among uh, the sun and uh, eight or nine planets whatever it is okay so this is known as uh, a gravitational attraction okay and this was proposed by isaac newton in 1687 he said that between two objects there is always a force of attraction and this force he named it as gravitational force okay so this gravitational force holds our solar system okay so because of this gravitational force all the planets they stay in their positions in their places and they uh, revolve around the sun okay so if this gravitational force is not present then none of the planets will stay in their positions none of the planets will spin around the sun okay and uh, newton he also said that uh, the larger the objects the heavenly bodies the larger the objects the greater is the force the stronger is the gravitational force for example see uh, this picture two objects they are small in size so uh, obviously they will have a weak gravitational force whereas here in this case the sun and the earth are present in this case the gravitational force will be stronger okay so so that's the greater the masses of two objects the stronger the attractive forces between them okay so this is one condition that is this gravitational force it uh, is based on two conditions it is based on the masses of the two objects and also the distance between the masses okay the distance between the objects that is if they are close together hmm, the gravitational force is larger and if they are further away if they are farther away that is if they are the distance between them is larger okay then the force is less the force is the force gets reduced and this gravitational forces they obey an inverse square law that is the distance between the masses is double when the distance between the masses is double it becomes the force becomes a quarter that is it becomes uh, one fourth of the force which was there before okay so these are the two conditions uh, on which uh, this newton's law of gravitational force is based on that is it is based on the mass of the two object and the distance between them okay so you might you might refer the textbook as well it's there in the textbook okay so this is the solar system just look at the, these planets okay and their uh, the shape of their uh, you know orbit so all these planets they are pulled towards the sun okay and uh, they have their own shapes that is they have their own orbits uh, orbital shapes uh, the innermost uh, planet the, that is the mercury has a very curved path and the outermost planet for example the neptune has a very very 
elongated path that is there's not much curve okay and uh, this is also because of the strength of the gravitational force that is uh, when an object is very close to the sun it has a very curved path it has a very curved path and when it is very very far away from the sun and and uh, uh, obviously the gravitational force will be less when it will be far away and the gravitational force will be less okay the the path of uh, the planet is not curved path it is elongated path okay so this is also a very important point which you have to remember regarding uh, gravitational force and the uh, the orbital path of a planet okay Uh, next is uh, yeah uh, this is the same thing there, there is a table in your textbook which uh, tells you about you know all those uh, things for example time time for one orbit of the Sun in earth years uh, and also an average distance between the from the Sun compared with the earth you just go to this table okay it's very this is a quite important table just there in your textbook okay so uh, this table shows the same thing like the planet Neptune is very long uh, away from the Sun that is it's very far from the Sun so the gravitational force between them is very small this means that the orbit of the Neptune is not very curved and it takes a very long time for it to complete one, one orbit so the table show uh, gives you the same uh, the, the readings tells you about the distance between the sun and the other planets when compared to the earth uh, and the time it takes for uh, the planet the particular planet to uh, complete one orbit around the sun okay so mm, see there is the this is the table inshallah uh, I'll be asking you a question from uh, this table as well. Okay, so just go through the table, just find out which has, uh, which takes uh, much more time for it to orbit around the sun, which takes very less time. Just go through all those readings and get some uh, good idea about this concept. Okay, so uh, I think it's uh, enough for uh, today. Though it's a, a short class, inshallah, I think it will, it is will be effective inshallah so if you have any doubts just uh, you can uh, send me a message okay and I'll be posting a question so just go through all the things and also refer your textbook okay all those points which are there in your textbook and then try to answer the questions Barakallah Fikum Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh